Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag video today. So I'm going to be talking about what's in my bag, what I packed for Brandon, what I packed for the baby. So this is gonna be for all of us, all in one video. So um, this is my second baby. If you're new to my channel, this is my second baby. So I have done this. But I did this 14 years ago, so I don't really remember everything that I packed in my hospital bag then. I'm sure things have changed from 14 years ago from what you need then to what you need now. I'm sure there are things that are still the same. Um, and then just from going to like all my different classes at where I'm delivering, um, they've told me like, you know, what I should bring, giving me lists of things that I should bring. And then I've just kind of added to that list like on what I think that I should bring as well. So we are going to go ahead and jump right into this video and go over every single little thing that I have in my hospital bag. And when I started filming this video and I put like everything together all in like one space, I was like, wow, like you're bringing a lot of stuff to the hospital. Like you really need to bring all this stuff to the hospital. But I do think that I am going to pretty much use every single thing that I'm bringing. I do think that there will be stuff that I'll need for labor and then um, stuff that I'll need once I move into my room after I deliver the baby. So I'm sure there'll be just things that we're going to bring in right away and then things that we can bring up later. So it's not like all of this is going to come up, come up, you know, with us at once when we do go to the hospital. So do keep that in mind when you see every single little thing that I have brought. Um, I am going to roll some video footage over this too so you can just kind of see like literally every single little thing that I'm bringing so then you can kind of see like wow yeah you are bringing like a lot of stuff but all right let's go ahead and jump right into this video so let's go ahead and start with you know what's gonna happen as soon as we walk out of the door um you know we're gonna grab all of our stuff but we're gonna need shoes so I'm just gonna throw on some flip-flops and run out the door these are usually like what uh, me and Brandon throw on like if we're just running out the house running out the door We just throw on like these flip-flops. So I figured we'd bring these these will be good to like walk around the hospital into um, So I'm not having to put on like tennis shoes and it's really hard to tie shoes right now or put on like sandals or anything like that So anything that I can just slip my feet into works really good and these have a nice little grip on them So we will be bringing these so we'll be walking out of the house in those and then I'm gonna go ahead and just start with my bag. So let me show you what my bag looks like initially when you first open it. All right, so when you first open my bag, here is every, sing every single little thing that I have packed. And I'm gonna go into each little compartment. I also do have some things in these front compartments as well. So let's go ahead and start with the front and then I'll work my way inside. I'm just gonna pull everything out and show you guys. So I'm going to start with the very first top pocket that I have on here. Maybe I can put this up here so then it might be a little bit easier. All right, we're going to start with the very first top pocket here. And in here I have my birth plan here. So this is what I'm going to give to the um, nurses and stuff when I go in there so they know exactly What's going on they should have a copy of this in my file as well but i'm gonna have one on hand just in case never know and plus i've added some things to it so we'll have the updated list as well all right and then let's move into this second compartment here and in here i have some slippers um i figured i might want to wear these while i'm walking around and laboring or even after I deliver if I wanna, you know, walk to the bathroom, if I wanna walk up and down the hallway or get up and walk around my room, you know, I can have just some slippers to throw on while I am at the hospital. So I have these. Then I also threw just a um, Forever 21 bag in here to put like all of our dirty clothes in. I figured just to have something so we're not mixing like clean and dirty clothes. So have this little plastic bag here to throw our stuff in. I want to try and put this back all nice and organized so I don't have to like literally repack it. 
All right, let's move into what I have in these front little pockets here. So I do have some makeup. Um, I brought very like minimal makeup. Um, I just brought like some foundation, um, like mascara, um, like some eyebrow stuff. Like if I just wanted to take like five minutes just to put on makeup, I don't know if I really will put on makeup, but just in case I want to put it on, I do have it here to put on. Um, and then also in here, I have some socks. So I have these socks and these ones have like the the rubber bottom grips on the bottom of them so if I just want to walk around the hospital in these and like not be in my slippers or not be in like my slides I can put these on and then I also brought these socks as well they're just fuzzy socks and um, these are like my favorite like fuzzy socks so I probably will wear these like after I deliver while I'm in the hospital just to keep my feet warm I know hospitals can be very cold so I have some socks on my feet and then probably just wear these home I just brought some just regular black like ankle socks and then the last thing that I have in that little compartment is I do have a nursing bra um, I do have one on now that I wear um, I wear a nursing bra every day now because I can't wear the underwire but this one is by Medela and I got this one in a bigger size than the one that I have on now because I know that once my milk comes in my boobs are gonna get way bigger than they already are now so I got a size up so I do have my nursing bra in here as well I'm just bringing one all right let's move into the next compartment here is where I have like all of my mine and Brandon's toiletries so let me try to pull all this stuff out so you guys can see all the toiletries that I'm bringing oh and I do have my hair stuff in here as well. So I have your normal toothbrush, one for me, one for Brandon. I have some toothpaste here. I have some mouthwash as well. So got all of our teeth stuff going here. And then I did bring some makeup wipes. So if I do go into labor and I have makeup on and I don't want to go and wash my face and just you know wipe makeup off really quick I have these here or if I do put makeup on like after I do deliver and people are coming and I want to put makeup on and then I want to take it off I have some makeup remover wipes so I have these and then I have some deodorant one for Brandon one for me I have my loofah here for the um, shower I know I'm gonna want to take a shower after I have given birth it's gonna be nice to take a shower so I do have my loofah and I did bring some body wash as well this is just the Aveeno body wash um, so I have those two things here and then as far as like hair stuff I did bring like a um, brush a comb I have my um, edge control <laughs> And I also do have like my flat iron. So if I wanna just run it through really quick, just in case um, I have that as well. So I think that's it as far as like toiletries. Oh, let me show you this other thing that I have. Put everything back first. So I got this little bag at Target. I'm not sure if I wanna keep it or not because it, I may need like a bigger bag. This one's kind of and it looks like it's gonna explode open so I might not be using this but in here I have some hand sanitizer so if people are coming over they want to hold the baby you know they need to sanitize their hands so I have these so I have this and then I also have this for me as well so like if I need to eat or something and I don't want to get up and like wash my hands I have this sanitizer here and ready this is gonna be kind of like my bag that like my little go-to bag that I'll keep on that little hospital table that they have for you with all like my essential stuff that I'll need like pretty much all the time. I also have my charger as well, my phone charger. And then I also have a portable phone charger as well. So if this one, you know, if there's not an outlet close to me, um, I will have this one. And so we have both of these. I also have my AirPods. Um, I'll probably mainly be using these like after delivery. I 
highly doubt that I'll use them during labor at all. But um, I brought these just so like if I need to like talk on the phone and have my hands free, like these will be good to use, you know, so I can just be mobile and not have to hold onto my phone or anything like that. So bringing my AirPods. I have some lotion here as well if I need to put some lotion on my hands. I have some eye drops um, just in case, you know, I'm going to be really tired. May need to pop these in my eyes every once in a while. I also have a hair tie, an extra hair tie. I always have one on my wrist. Don't want to have, don't, of course I don't have one on my wrist right now, but I normally have one on my wrist and then I have this spare one here as well. And then I'm bringing my handy dandy Carmex because I love this stuff. So may need some chapstick while I'm in the hospital as well. So that's everything that's in this bag that I'll keep like right in front of me while I'm, you know, at the hospital. All right, the next thing that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the big compartment here, is we have a Bluetooth speaker. So um, may use this, may not use this. I don't know if this is really just like a necessity, but um, may want this for like during labor, um, just to have some like calming music playing, things like that. So I did bring the Bluetooth speaker. I'll let you know if I actually end up using this. And then I'm gonna jump into everything that um, I have packed for Brandon. So we've got just two pairs of boxer briefs here, some briefs. We have two changes of clothes. So you just pack two t-shirts. Um, I have two pairs of sweatpants in here for him. Um, I'm thinking we may need to pack like some basketball shorts, but I know the hospital can be really cold, but I mean, this is up to him. He gave me what he wanted to bring. <laughs> so I told him, give me two outfits that you want to bring. So this is what he gave me. So two pants, two shirts, two pairs of um, underwear. And then we also brought some swim trunks as well. Um, the reason why I brought these, um, the hospital recommended that we bring these. So like if I get in the shower, um, he can get in the shower with me because he can't obviously be in the shower naked and all that, all the nurses and stuff are there. So um, I brought these just in case if he needs to get in the shower with me while I'm laboring. So we have these. Um, I don't know if I said this, but we have sweatshirt here for him and then just some socks. So. I think that's everything that I brought for Brandon and then you saw all the toiletries that I brought for him as well. Um, some other things that I am going to be bringing for Brandon are going to be a pillow for him and also a blanket that um, Ace is currently laying on but um, we do have a blanket over here as well that we're going to be bringing. And while I'm over here, let me show you guys the other things that I'm going to be bringing. I'm going to be bringing my pillow as well. Um, this is like my belly pillow or I use it for my back sometimes as well. It's like a wedge that I got off of Amazon. Um, if you've watched some of my prior videos, I think I mentioned this in my eight month update, my seven or eight month update, don't really remember. But um, this helps me to prop my, be my belly up so there's not so much weight and everything when I'm laying on my side so I brought this I'm bringing this to the hospital as well and then I'm bringing Mr. Bear so um literally I cannot fall asleep without him um so anywhere that I go anywhere that I travel Mr. Bear comes with me Mr. Bear was there when Jasmine was born I know guys I am 33 almost 34 years old and I still sleep with teddy bear and I really don't care. Um, it's literally the only way, that I can, only way that I can fall asleep. So he's coming too. So that's that. All right. <laughs> um, let's move on to the stuff that I'm bringing for myself. So for myself, I am going to be bringing, I got a labor gown. Uh, I believe I got this from, um, it says gownies on here, but I think I got it from just like Be Mine Maternity or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and link all this stuff down below if you guys are interested in getting some of this stuff. But I got this labor gown. Um, 
just in case I don't want to wear the hospitals, but I'll probably wear the hospitals and then maybe wear this one later because I'm not going to probably want to get it all like nasty and stuff. But it does unsnap down the back. So if I, you know, the doctors need to access anything, I can easily unsnap this. Um, it also has snaps on the front. So like for breastfeeding, I can just unsnap this and be able to breastfeed. I can be able to do skin to skin, all of that. So I have this. And then I also got, oh, the name of the company is Baby Be Mine. That's who this is by. Um, so I also got the matching robe. So I got this. I figured I'll probably wear this um, after I deliver. Probably just have like my nursing bra on and this, or maybe not. And um, that way the doctors still have like easy access to um, getting to me down there because I know they're probably gonna have to go down there and check me and make sure everything's going on okay down there so I also have this robe as well and then I also brought like this nightgown that I'll be bringing um, this one you can just unbutton and then you can be able to breastfeed with this as well so just have this really big oversized one and this one I think will be good like if visitors come you know it's like long enough to keep me covered can have my nursing bra on and still feel like I'm okay and not just you know all nasty and gross like I just gave birth so this will help me to feel a little bit better I think and then the only other thing I have in here is my going home outfit so I packed um, I packed just like a pair of joggers and a t-shirt and a sweatshirt to go home in um, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna want to put on pants depending on how sore I'm gonna be down there after um, I know with my first daughter I was super sore down there like I didn't want to touch anything I had to like sit on a donut so I'm like expecting that so I don't know if I really want to put like pants on and then with like the on like the pad and like mesh underwear and all of those things like I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to wear like pants or not so I brought these though just in case because they are like baggy they're not tight like leggings so I do have this as an option and then I also went and I just bought like an oversized like dress like sweatshirt dress that I can also throw on so if I'm not feeling the pants I have this as an option as well so um, I will be delivering beginning of October. May or may not be cold. Um, I do live in Northern California and it's still been like 80 degrees every day. So I may be too hot in this, but we'll see. We're just gonna go with however the weather is going that day, whatever I'm gonna be the most comfortable in. And then I think there's only one other area in here that I have. So I am bringing some, um, nursing pads um, just in case um, I need them I probably won't need them because your milk doesn't come in until a couple days after you deliver so I probably will not be leaking but I brought these just in case to have on hand the hospital will probably have things like this as well but I'm bringing these just in case or if I'm like on my way home or something and I need them like I will have them but I wouldn't say that this is something that you necessarily need to put in your hospital bag but I am bringing them and I have another thing that you probably don't necessarily need to bring either, but I got these Depends like underwear and I figured these may be easier to wear than like the mesh undies on the way home and I can just like put the pad in here or like the ice pack if I need it and I'll feel a little bit more secure and better in these. So I got these as well. So we'll let you guys know. How these will work out but I got these as well all right guys I'm gonna put everything back into my bag and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that I packed for the baby all right guys I put my hospital bag back together now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing for the baby so this is everything that I have in Miss Bell's bag so this is her diaper bag I haven't even taken the tag off but this is her diaper bag um, I didn't bring too much stuff for her, but enough stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. 
I don't really have anything in any of these compartments. I literally just packed everything that she just needs for like the hospital today. So you go ahead and you open it up here and we will start here. So in this little compartment here, I have all of her clothes. I want to start with this outfit first. So I did get her a matching gown to match mine as well. So this is what I'll probably put on her after she comes out, take pictures, things like that. So she has this cute little outfit here from the same company. And she also has a matching beanie to go with it as well. And then I also brought um, some headbands as well to go along with it um, just in case I don't want to put the beanie on her I love headbands it's the like most fun part about having a girl is putting these headbands on so um, I brought different ones that will match this so I brought a pink a black and a white so have these and then I also brought her some little socks to go with that so because it's completely open at the bottom so just in case so her feet won't be cold i have these and then i also packed her some of the mittens so she's not scratching her face so have these as well i don't know if she'll come out with long fingernails but have these just in case and then i packed her like two oh before i get into that i also packed her just like a onesie. Um, I know that they're gonna have like um, onesies or like a t-shirt to put her in. They're gonna have beanies to put her in and they'll have a blanket to swaddle her in. And this is just stuff that I felt like I wanted to bring to have with me. But I also thought that this might be like a cute little photo option is to put her in this little onesie. And then there's this bib here that says the princess has arrived. So I thought that this was really cute. So I figured I could do like the onesie with like the bib and then I got these there there's these cute little socks cute little socks that match this whole little get up here so I have these as well so I figured we could do that and then she could put like the pink bow with it and you know maybe take her little first picture to like post on like Instagram or like Facebook and you know so everybody knows that Belle is here so I thought that that might be cute but you know may or may not do that we'll let you guys know probably we'll be filming a what I actually used in my hospital bag after <laughs> the baby is born but yeah so that's another option for her to wear you know after she's been born if I don't want to put her in you know the stuff that they have I have that as an option um I also did bring a swaddler so these are the, the ones that you just velcro and snap her in and stuff so I brought these like I said the hospital has all of this stuff but I'm just bringing this because I want to bring it so I'm bringing it and then I also brought this other swaddler um, it's actually an actual swaddle blanket that you would swaddle her in so I figured I would bring this as well or I could use it um, on like the car seat when we're going home so I brought this one and then I also brought like a big furry one as well maybe to use for like the car seat or to cover her up but I don't really plan on using like any of this stuff until I'm actually like going home so um, I have these options as well and then I packed her two going home outfits so uh, the first one that I packed was oh sorry guys I also forgot that I did bring like a burp cloth as well um with my first daughter she would spit up a lot so I figured we may need this like on the way home so I have this just for like on the way home if I need to like wipe her up or something I have this burp cloth as well so probably won't be using that while I'm at the hospital just to go home okay so back to the two outfits that I brought for her so at my baby shower, somebody gave me a preemie outfit. And I remember with Jasmine, my first daughter, when I brought her home, that I put her in like, I think it was either, I think it was newborn. Um, and she literally was swimming in it. Like she couldn't even fit 
her going home outfit. So um, I'm figuring this baby is probably gonna be around the same size as Jasmine. Um, I'm already um, weight-wise, like the same amount of weight that I gained during my first pregnancy. So I'm figuring this baby is probably gonna be a wet, somewhere around like six pounds. So I brought this outfit. At least you could maybe get like one use out of it. So um, it's just this little outfit here. This is the jacket or top. And then um, these are the little pants that go with it. So they have little feet in them. So that's one option. And then the other option that I brought was just like this sleeper. So I thought that this was really cute to bring her in. And this is a newborn size. So um, I brought these two and this one actually has a matching hat to go on her. She's probably gonna wanna put something on her head um, when we are leaving the hospital. So I have that. And then for this one too, as well, I do have for the first outfit, I have another white beanie to put on her as well. And the hospital is going to give you a beanie as well to put on the baby. So you don't, this is, you know, all stuff that you don't need to bring. Um, but I am bringing, um, I was also thinking about putting a zero to three month outfit in here just in case she does come out being larger than what I'm imagining, so I may throw that in here. I don't know yet, but knowing me, I probably will. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I did pack just one diaper. The hospital's gonna give you diapers, so you're not gonna need this, but I figured just in case, if something happens on the way home, we have a spare diaper, but I'm sure they're gonna give me even just like diapers to come home with. So I have diapers, or a diaper. And I also did pack some wipes as well. So I have these travel size of the water wipes as well, just in case we do need something like this on the way home. All right, I will put all that back in a minute, but I'm gonna show you guys the last of the things that I'm bringing. So I, asked Brandon and I also asked my daughter what they were gonna want like snack wise while we're at the hospital because nobody's leaving like once we get there you guys pretty much cannot leave so if they're trying to go and get food like they're not gonna be able to go like somebody's gonna have to bring them food because you never know like one minute you can be one centimeter one centimeter dilated and then the next minute you could be like 10 so um, I really don't want anybody leaving so um, I got all of their favorite snacks, so Brandon's favorite white cheddar popcorn. Um, everybody in my family loves the Kettle Cook salt and vinegar chips, so I got these. Brandon has to have honey roasted peanuts, so I got these for him. And then Jasmine, she just wanted like Cheez-Its and some granola bars so i packed those for her and then for me um i've been hearing that you should have like jolly ranchers i'm not a big like um fruity candy kind of girl i'm like a chocolate girl but i heard these are kind of good to suck on during labor um you know the deeper you get into labor you can't really have food so I brought these just in case as well. So those are all the snacks. Um, I know for me, the hospital will provide meals for me. Like they're not gonna provide meals for Brandon and like my family and stuff. So they do have things to snack on or if like somebody needs to run out really quick and get food and come back, you know, we'll have these in between that time. So these are all the snacks that we're bringing. And then lastly, I am going to be bringing my birthing ball, um, this exercise ball here. I'm going to be bringing this. I plan on using this during labor and delivery. Um, we used it in my birth class that I took. And so they said to bring one of these because the hospital like doesn't provide it. So I am bringing my own ball. Don't know if I will use it or not. Use it or not. We'll let you guys know in that video that I'm gonna film, that video that says, you don't need this and you don't need that. And your hospital bag but bringing this hopefully I will use it and then I am also bringing my boppy pillow um, I used a boppy when I was breastfeeding my daughter and um, I do plan on breastfeeding so 
only breastfeeding exclusively um, praying for the first year. So um, I did bring this pillow on this pillow was a lifesaver for me when it was trying to get her to like prop her up and hold her. So I'm going to be bringing this as well. And lastly, going to be bringing her car seat. So this is her car seat, everybody. And I like this car seat because I love this feature on it. Where I was like, you know, a lot of times people have to like put blankets and things like over the baby seat. But with this one, you can literally just like pull this little canopy out and it comes down and then you just um, snap it on the side there. So then she'll just need like a blanket like right here. So you do have to have a car seat to bring your baby home. Um, that is the law. So we will have this. So like this would be like something that we would like leave in the car until it's like time to go. So like we wouldn't bring all this up initially. Yeah. So that is every single thing that I am bringing with me to the hospital. Um, as you guys can see, there's things in there that you are definitely going to need things that you are definitely not going to need. The hospital is going to provide pretty much every single thing that you need to go to the hospital. So if you literally just arrived in what you wore there, they're literally going to provide you with your labor gown and, you know, another gown to be in while you're there. Um, they even have formula. If you don't plan on breastfeeding, they have like the mesh panties and the pads and the tucks and the witch hazel, like all that stuff they're going to have there for you. So like I didn't pack any pads. I didn't pack any like witch hazel or tux pads any of the mesh panties because they're gonna provide all of those things for me so those things I knew like I didn't need to bring but yeah so hopefully this video is helpful to a lot of you that are going to be going in to labor soon hopefully you have your bags packed and if you do and there's something that you saw in this video that you're like oh maybe I should pack that too um, I'm glad that I could help you guys so yeah but um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. If you did like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. A thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys very soon. Hopefully it'll be with the baby because I'm ready for her to come out now. But <laughs> it's on her time, not mine, but yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah!